Hello everybody, Ultimate Bricks here reviewing the LEGO Women of NASA LEGO Ideas set. It is set 21312, recommended for ages 10 and up. It is the 19th LEGO Ideas set. Contains 231 pieces, uh, which build into three different builds, containing four different minifigures. If you don't know the way that LEGO Ideas works, you share your idea, so someone created um, this project, you got 10,000 votes. Um, which made Lego uh, change stuff around, they made the builds a lot better, and then they uh, decided that it was um, up to their standards so they could sell it as an actual set. And this set had a lot of uh, mixed uh, feedback when it originally came out um, a few months ago. Um, a bunch of people really loved it, thought it was a great idea, and a lot of Lego fans thought the original build uh, really wasn't deserving uh, becoming a set compared to some of the other builds people have made. Um, so I kind of stayed out of it originally, didn't really make a thoughts video. Um, but now that I have the set in my hand, I'll be able to uh, build it up and uh, tell you guys exactly what I think of the set. Anyways, inside of the box there are three bags of pieces and one instruction manual. All right, and when you are done, you are left with three vignettes for four figures. Uh, let's go from left to right. First up, we have Margaret Hamilton, and the way that these are built is they're all kind of built on this nice stand, which does use up the majority of the pieces. So the reason that it's a 200 piece set is, uh, has a lot to do with these stands. Um, then there's this nice build, actually, I was uh, pleasantly surprised. This was a a good build to get this on its side. It looks pretty good. I like having a tiled wall. It's something um, unique, um, I guess. Don't usually do that too much. The um, the builds on the sand are this coat rack right here, uh, this stack of books, and then there is a printed 2x3 tile with some calculations on it that is attached to the uh, main wall back there. And then the figure just um, stands right there. and. Then there is a name plate right there. We'll take a look at all the figures at the end. Next up, the center display. This is the largest one. The, uh, the stand on this one, a yeah, little bit deeper um, and wider. And of course, this is the only one to have two figures on display. There is Mae Jemsen and Sally Ride. And these are the only two also to have accessories. So she has this nice helmet, which can be uh, put on there for a different look and then Sally Ride is holding a camera. And the main build for this, I'll just uh, move the figures quickly, uh, the main build is this space shuttle with, uh, that is attached to the, um, the extra thrusters and the um, giant fuel container. And these uh, can come off the display just like this and kind of be held as a model. And this even uh, disconnects, if you want to disconnect that and just have it as a uh, space shuttle once it's already um, in the air. So I thought that was pretty neat. And um, the uh, name plates kind of work in the same way. You can get a good look at that. It's printed on a one by four white tile. Next up, we have the one for Nancy Grace Roman. And you can see name plate right there in the same style. Um, it's good these are all in the same style because they do look great when they're all next to each other. And uh, we'll move the figure for a second. We'll take a look at all the figures at the end. Um, she worked on the Hubble telescope, which is why there's a telescope depicted here. Um, and the build is actually quite nice. I love the um, use of these printed um, solar panels on the sides. I guess those are probably useful um, pieces just to use. And then there's a, this great print right here, which is a, um, a picture that the uh, Hubble, Hubble telescope took. It's kind of simplified to be put into a Lego style. The uh, telescope can be removed if you want to, um, so it's kind of difficult. Um, it kind of fits right in there at an angle. If you notice it's on this little, this nice display thing that's built right into the base, and it kind of displays at an angle, which I think is nice, but you could um, take this up and uh, do whatever you wanted with it if you wanted to. Then, once it's done, there, it looks pretty nice. Um, she had a nice build using that uh, trash can piece as a uh, nice base for that. Then the figure can just uh, sit 
right there. And here are the four figures in order of how they are credited in the instruction manual. Uh, left to right, we have Margaret Hamilton, Sally Ride, Nancy Grace Roman, and Mae Jemsen. And all these figures look absolutely amazing. You see the printing on the detail is absolutely amazing. All the way on the left there, Margaret Hamilton with the dual molded legs, and then the uh, side printing on the legs, and the uh, printing for the shoes. Wow, that, that, that's, um, that has to be one of the best um, leg pieces ever. Like, that just looks amazing. And then it continues on to the torso with that detailed print. Um, all of these figures do have secondary faces, so you can see all of those, just like that. And they all look pretty good, most of them look uh, more determined and stuff like that, and you can see that most of them, I think they're all mouth open on one side, and then mouth closed on the other side. Mae Jemsen, of course, has that helmet, and that's how it looks closed, and then open like that. The printing on the rest of the figures is all amazingly detailed as well. I'm so glad that they did uh, printing on the back of the torsos. This is such a figure-centered set, which is, I know it's not what LEGO Ideas is about, um, but it is important when, if you do a figure, figure-centered set, that you at least get the figures uh, done right. And that is definitely something that they did. You can see uh, so much uh, great detail on all the figures here. And um, definitely, definitely worth it to get um, these four people. I said in the beginning of this video that I would give you my honest opinion on the set, and I can say that I really do like this set. I think it makes an awesome uh, display model. I can't say that there's much playability here. I mean, of course, you can use the figures um, in any scenes, but um, as far as the stuff that they create, this is a display model for what they create. There's not, given what you get in the box, there's not too much that you can do. Um, but of course, you can um, use these figures combined with uh, either your city uh, space sets or a creator um, space shuttle or just uh, build something using your own uh, parts collection. Anyways, um, I, I would say I'd have to recommend this set um, to anyone who does um, like exclusive minifigures as well as exclusive printed pieces because you definitely do get a lot of those in this set. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Bye.